Hey there, my IA people. How are you all doing? I hope that uh, hope you're hanging in there good. We're gonna do a couple of examples. Do a little bit of uh, some multiplication here. So what I'm gonna ask you to do today uh, or this week is a little bit backwards from what um, what I've had you been doing in the past. And what I mean by that is we're basically just going the opposite direction. So let's take a uh, something that's already in factored form. Let's say we have x minus 3 times x plus 2. What I want you to do is multiply this out. So I want you to um, go the opposite direction. What does that become? Like x squared plus blah, 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 blah. So here it is in factored form. We want to put it into what we call standard form. So x minus 3 times x plus 2. So remember, this x minus 3 describes one side of a uh, of a rectangle and the x plus 2 describes another side of a of a rectangle so let's 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 make it so one side is x plus 3 long so I'm gonna need an x and uh, uh, three ones one two three and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay this out here these are just the frame of the outside this will help me think about my multiplication this isn't actually part of the answer this is just how I'm framing it so I can make my answer. So there's an x plus 3, but I think that I wanted x minus 3. I want an x minus 3, so let me turn those negative. So one side is that long, that x minus 3 long. The other side is an x plus 2 long. So I'm going to need an x. And notice I'm framing it like this because I'm going to fill in the, the inside. And it was an x plus 2. So there's my outside frame. So now let me think about this. In here I have x times x. So the thing that fits in here is an x squared. In here I have a negative 1 times an x. So the shape is an x, but it's a negative times a positive, so it's a negative x. Here I have another one, negative 1 times x, so that should be negative. And here I have one more. And again, notice what I'm doing is I'm just framing this. This inside part is going to be my answer. Here I have an x times a positive 1. That's a positive x. Got it again here. See how the 1 and the x. And then in here I have a bunch of negative 1s times 1s. And notice there'll be 6 of them, and they'll be negative. A negative times a positive. So 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> And they'll just fit right in here. And so now that I have my answer, now I can I can take this frame off. So I can take off the x's and the negative ones and the x and the ones. And there's my answer to this multiply together. So notice then that I have this. Uh, where see how this side is x minus 3, this side is x plus 2 like I want it to be. And now I can write my answer, which is x squared. And notice I have an x minus an x, so I don't need to count those. An x minus an x, so I don't count those. So I just have a minus x and then minus 6. So again, with these x's, what I can do is I can do a little bit of bookkeeping where these positives uh, cancel out the two negatives, leaving me just the one negative. And this is the sort of thing, then I could copy this paste it into my um, paste it into my assignment. Let me do a couple more examples then. And here is my next one. How about if I had x minus 2 times x plus 2? All right, so let's uh, think about what that would look like. I'm just going to get these out of the way. So I have an x minus 2, that's one of my sides. I'm just building my frame right now, and an x plus 2. So notice these aren't lining up. These are just measuring the outside, and I'm going to fill in the middle, x plus 2, like that. All right, let me fill it in then. Uh, so I have an x squared, x times x, so that fits right in there. Remember, just think about extending these lines straight down and what would fill in. Uh, x times negative 1, those are going to give me some negative x's, so I have two of those. In this spot right here, I have 1 times x and 1 times x, so that'll give me those two x's. And then in here, 
I have negative ones times positive ones. So I should have four, four negative ones in here. I can pull that frame out. Remember, because that was just my frame, those are just my edges. So now my answer is this. Oh, that's look at that. The x's cancel out all the way. X, x, and negative x, negative x. So let me snip this again. And this side is x minus 2. That's a really ugly x. This side is x plus 2. And so this x cancels out that x. This x cancels out that x, right? They combine to make a 0. So the answer is x squared minus 4, uh, 4 ones. So I can write it like that. Cool. One, le one, uh, one more example, and then we will go on our way to get some practice in. And I just want a little white space to write on. So this multiplication is going to be it's going to be different than something we've done before. So I want to have two x's plus one times x minus two. Okay, 2x plus 1. So instead of just 1x, now I have 2x's. So if I go to make my edge, I have 1x, 2x's, plus 1. And then when I do my other edge, I have an x uh, minus, minus 2. That would be like this. So there's my frame. So notice in here, I have x times x. There's an x squared. But here I have it again, x times x again. That's going to give me another x squared. Here I have 1 times x, so that's a positive x. Right here I have x times negative 1 times negative 1, so that's two negative x's. And again, notice those lines just come straight down and go through. I'm not adding any new lines in here. So in here I have x times negative x. I'm sorry, x times negative 1, x times negative 1 again. So I need another two negative x's. And here's one, and I can just steal this one. And here's one. And then in here, 1 times negative 1, 1 times negative 1, that's two negative 1's. Cool, I can lift that frame out then. And there's my answer right there. So, as I go to write that answer... <clears throat> So first off, notice this is 2x's plus 1. This is x minus 2. So I have two of those x squared. So I'm going to write 2x squared. This x and that x and that negative x combined to a 0. So I'm left with negative 3x's. And then here I have negative 2. And there it is multiplied out. Give those a try. Uh, remember to insert this picture just into your workout. Click on Turn In in Teams. And... Uh, Send me questions via email. Hope you're doing great.